today I want to talk to you about the importance of capacity planning in your business. Now I know that sometimes when I talk about capacity planning, people think you only need that when you've got massive teams in your business or you've got lots of systems and you need to have loads of stuff in place to organise everything. But even if it's just you or it's a small team, planning your workload and planning your capacity is one of the best things that you can ever do to help you keep a lid on the overwhelm and to feel like you're really in control of your business. And not only does it do that, it also actually helps you to deliver a fabulous service to your clients because you can manage their expectations much better in advance. You can plan your workload, you can clarify your deadlines, you can be really clear with clients about what they can expect from you and when, but you can also be super clear about what you're going to need from them so you can help to manage your own clients a little bit better by the act of managing your own capacity. So here are some of the key things to think about is remember that moment where you realise you're going on holiday in about a week's time and you have 18 billion things to do and all of a sudden you know you're going to have to work every hour God sends to get this stuff done and you still might not get it all done. That is not capacity planning. At that stage you have no option for capacity planning because you are totally inundated. So what we're really talking about here is planning regularly for four to six weeks in advance. So there are no sudden bottlenecks, there are no sudden uh, massive pressure zones in your business. You don't suddenly end up with a week where you've got 15 different deadlines and then two weeks where actually you don't really have a lot to do. So what you're looking to do is really manage consistently across a series of weeks your own workload. And here's one of the really important things about this is, when I talk to most people about capacity planning or workflow planning, what they think about is their clients, their customers. They think about work they, they have got to do, what are they being paid for, what are their customers expecting, and it's all about what they need to deliver to their customers. But for you to plan your capacity effectively, you also need to think about all the other things that you and your team have got to do over those four to six weeks period. So you have to be thinking about your business planning, your strategy work, thinking about time that you need to, de to dedicate to marketing, thinking about finance, thinking about new products, thinking about developing processes. But all those things that you want to be doing consistently in your business every week, all of those impact your capacity. So when you've got clarity on how much time you need for all of that every week, that also gives you the revelation of just how much time you actually have to dedicate to client work. And that is often an awful lot less than you think it is, which sometimes can come as a bit of a shock. Sometimes it's a bit worrying that you think, well, hang on a minute, that's my income generating time. Maybe there isn't enough of it. But that usually just tells you that you're probably undercharging. Um, but you can factor all of these things in. You can get super clear on all the different things that you need to do over a series of weeks. And once you turn this into a bit of a habit and a routine, it becomes really, really easy. But it also means that you are organised, you are stress free, your clients know exactly what's going on. It means that if you are facing a bit of a bottleneck, you know straight away that you're not going to say to a client, that's fine, I'll sort it next week, when actually you don't have capacity for another three weeks. And it might be difficult to have that conversation, but in having that conversation to say, I'm full for the next three weeks, you educate your client to come to you sooner next time, so they better manage their work, allowing you to better manage your work, and you become a much smoother working client supplier relationship. So it's all happy day stuff. Um, so that is my big tip for you this week, is really think about planning out your workload four to six weeks ahead, doing this consistently, but also getting clear this is not just about your customer, this is about you and your ownership of the business and all the key things that you actually want to be managing and delivering in that business over a four to six week period. This is the type of thing I work with clients on constantly. So if it's something you know you need help with, uh, check out my website, taylory.co.uk and drop me a message. <laughs>